Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where things are ticking along pretty well for us now that we've largely recovered our missing population. We're not quite there yet, but we're very, very close. And we've also almost paid off our credit. We've only got about 10 weeks to go on that one. So that's fantastic. We're going to be able to start cutting our taxes very, very shortly. And that will be really good for us, I think. Because that will definitely make our standard of living go up. And that's what we want here. We want a higher standard of living. We want lots of jobs. Ideally, decent paying jobs. But the pay is based on the standard of living. And that will start pulling people back in. And that'll be perfect. So we're up to one, or rather 4.7 million population right now. We should start thinking about attacking Brazil very soon here. I think that's very clear. We do have a fair amount of construction left to do here. And looking through here, yeah, low market access here. We do have this unproductive trade route that we can certainly get rid of. Okay. All in all, that's looking good. Almost done with our credit here. Two more weeks. Let's go. Once that happens, we immediately cut taxes. We don't care about building up our gold reserves. We just like to have them there. They don't have to exist, right? They're just nice to have. But there we go. We have no more debt. Beautiful. Our debt is gone, and so our taxes get cut to here. I would like to go further. But that is as far as we can go for right now. We're in a contested government at this moment. That's noted. We could do workers' protections. I would not rather do this. That would raise the minimum wage, which is, with the way that the economy is implemented in this game, awkward for us. Shall we say. <laughs> Definitely awkward. Enacting property to women is not very worthwhile either. Women's suffrage is just better. Indeed. I don't think there's any reason at all to enact anything here until we get w the ability to do women's suffrage. That would be the way to go. So that's looking good. South Andean migration. So South Andean people have begun migrating to Mexican Texas. Okay, sure. I don't think there's very many of them, though. So I don't think that's very relevant to us, all things considered. Can we cut our taxes further? Not quite yet. Soon. Very soon on that front. Let's go through our resources. I know there's been some oil discovered in some locations. Okay, it doesn't need to be built anywhere, although this rubber plantation does. We'll get that built. Otherwise, that can all be auto-expanded. That looks great. No problem there whatsoever. We do have an engines and electricity input goods shortage. We should get to that after we're done constructing a little bit here, in theory. What are we consuming for our construction again? Tools, glass, steel, explosives. Okay. And of those, explosives and steel are currently expensive. Noted. But overall, that looks reasonably fine. I would like to see our GDP continue to climb and our income continue to climb. Realistically, I'd really like to see our steel price to drop. That would be ideal. That would be our easiest way to increase our income. But I would like to start cutting taxes even further than they already are. I mean, I say even further. We're on high taxes right now. <laughs> so I'd like to cut these back for sure. Absolutely for sure. But our number of radicals is definitely coming down overall. That's really good to see. And we're up to 4.73 million now. This is going really, really well. We're growing quite rapidly now at 1.76%. And we're continuing to finish up these constructions. How are we doing on that queue? 41 weeks remain. Okay. Making really solid progress on that one, then. Cool. So that's looking great. Our standard of living is creeping up. We're definitely going to continue to bring that up as we can. But for the moment... Yeah, this low market access here. There's just nothing we can do about that, though. Like, we've got this railway here. We just need people to work in it. 
They'll get there eventually. But for now, we'll just have to wait. What is the uh, population here looking like? Attraction migration is currently low. We should probably consider moving our greener grass campaign from like Santa Fe over to here. Boosting up our migration attraction here somewhat. And then hopefully people will start to move in here. Hopefully. Or at least they'll move out less. That would be nice. Because, actually, the price of iron is high because of this low market access here, isn't it? That is actually a problem. Okay. Persecution of African... of Afro-Carabino people. Uh, th that, that'll... that'll... We'll, we'll stop that. Oil discovered in Zulia in Venezuela. Cool. So 1.15 million radicals, huh? 1.14. Yeah, this is looking solid. Cool. I'm quite pleased with how that's playing out at this moment. And we were getting these plantations and such built. That's fine. No problems whatsoever here right now. The main thing that we need to do is get solidified to such a point. Oh, and we can cut taxes here now, I think. Almost. The main thing we need to do here is to get solidified to such a point where we can start bulking up our military again and start to think about attacking Brazil. That's going to be a big power play if we do that. An exceptionally big power play. So that's definitely something to think about. Brazil's population is 7.8 million. So they have a much higher population than we do, although their GDP is nearly half of ours. And they're not so great on the battalions front. 25 plus 65 compared to our 32 plus 13. So, I mean, we need to bulk up our army if we're going to attack them. Definitely. That is 100% something that needs to happen. Wow, we're really hard expanding our textile mills. Okay, there's a steel mill expansion, and that we're going to bump all the way up to the top. Fantastic. So, let's get that done. And let's get another week in the bag here to finish up this textile mill. There we go. And we'll just continue constructing at this pace for the time being. 4.77 million now. It's looking great. So we should probably think about constructing some barracks at some point. The question is how many and where? Well, we could take all of these up to multiples of five. That's an option. Something like that. So that's going to build us some eight additional barracks. How many in total do we want before we attack Brazil? Well, we can look at this and say they've got 90 battalions. 91 battalions. Sure, some of them are conscripts, but that's okay. We're going to need a lot more battalions than that. So that's definitely noted. I'm going to move this barracks up. And that'll be fine for now. I do definitely want to get a few additional barracks built. Santiago appears to be the place to do it. So we're going to take that up to 10. And then 15. We can also build a few in Buenos Aires. Like that. So they're going to take a while to construct. Although barracks are pretty quick to construct. I do want to have these, like, separated out here so that they're, like, woven in with our other constructions. Something kind of like that. And there was, what, a lead mine somewhere? Yeah, this one. We'll move that up like so. Cool. So those are woven into our other constructions, and they'll be done eventually. We need to get them done in order to really threaten Brazil. Currently, that's not an option. I want to check in on our institutions. Okay, that all looks great. No problem whatsoever there. Although we are a little bit low on our bureaucracy, and we could certainly consider building a government administration somewhere. Like, for example, in Santa Fe. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that 
as our current top priority. So that'll go in there. I'm going to move these barracks up. Because, of course, we finished up our previous barracks. They finish much faster than these other constructions. Which is to be expected. Absolutely. Cool. So we'll get that underway for now. And that will hurt our balance for a little bit anyway. But that will mean that we have a little bit more spare bureaucracy, which will help our state construction efficiency. Sounds good to me. Okay, so we're now up to 33 plus 13 battalions. Looks good. They're fluctuating between 65 and 66 conscript battalions. Noted. Okay, cool. So all of this construction will be fine. We should at some point bring up our... Bring up... Not these. Bring up our military buildings, right? Take this up to shrapnel artillery, and this is all fine for the time being. But upgrade all of these, with the possible exception of our medical aid, because we don't really have access to opium. So we could bring down, say, to shrapnel artillery and down to skirmish artillery. And that's going to hurt our ammunition and our artillery and our small arms. But we do have domestic industries for those, and we can start to expand them. I'm not going to do that until such a time as we have finished up most of this construction. I think that's going to be the way to go there. So we're going to just move these on up like so. Cool. And as expected, we just tear through these barracks, right? They're not going to be very lengthy. At this point, I'm going to move up this tooling workshop. And we're just going to finish all of this stuff up before we really finish the rest of these barracks. And we can move this one down. That's no problem. Cool. So that'll all be done within 18 weeks. No issues there. We're building up our military somewhat. Two Sicilies is now improving relations with us. Keep in mind the AI thinks we're really weak because our army power projection is low. Oh, look at that. Our, our money is really, really up right now. So I'm going to cut taxes, and I'm even going to cut taxes again, down to low taxes. That will put our legitimacy up into legitimate government 80, which is looking good. And that should bring our standard of living up quite a lot. We'll finish up this construction. Okay, we just dipped quite negative there. We can eat up our gold reserves for right now. I'm not concerned about that. So let's let this construction work its way through. 21 weeks until the tooling workshop is done. Okay. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, we can just eat up our gold reserves here and we can raise taxes again if we haven't recovered by the time we're done with our gold reserves. For the moment, that's fine. So a lot of these barracks are going to finish up, right? And we're probably not going to fill out those jobs right away. Although we are up to 4.82 million now. We're growing fast. Really fast. And that's great to see. That's exactly what we want. We are going to be getting plastics done eventually to bring up our oil, oil requirements. We want to bring up the price of oil for sure. But we're just going to finish up these constructions. It's no big deal. Two weeks on our barracks here, and our gold reserves are holding for now. I'm not too concerned about it. This doesn't look awful. Ooh, our number of radicals has dropped down below 1 million for the first time in approximately ever. <laughs> That's wonderful. And our GDP is just continuing to climb. We're now well beyond our height before the mass migration. And that's great. This paper mill is going to finish up, which means that we're now working on three simultaneous barracks. And we're going to be done with these barracks very, very quickly. This motor industry is a higher priority, though. So let's go ahead and get that done. Same with the steel mill, to be honest. We'll move that on up. Something else was queued. A tooling workshop. We'll move that up, too. Lead mines finishes up. There we go. And this is looking good. 
It's looking very, very good. I'm completely fine with this construction right now. I'm fine with this deficit as well. We've still got 500k in the bank, so I'm not concerned here. I'm hoping that by the time we run out of the gold reserves, we've turned this around just through increased income and having more people working. But we'll see if that's true. But for the time being, this is definitely trending the direction I want it to in all measures. So that's really good. Barracks in Santiago are still being worked on. And there's now this tooling workshop. I'm not going to move up that tooling workshop right now. We'll let that one linger. I want to get the tooling workshop in Buenos Aires done for sure. And the steel mills and motor industry are very, very important to us economically. I mean, so are the tooling workshops. But I want to get these barracks concluded at some point. And actually working on them is going to be the way to do that. So that's fine. We're going to tear through these barracks very, very quickly. I'm not concerned. This tooling workshop is going to be a while for sure. But I want to attack Brazil soon. How are we doing? 36 plus 13. That needs to keep coming up. Okay. 80 is our current legitimacy. That's looking fantastic. And looking at this, yeah, we'll have these barracks relatively soon. I don't think that's actually going to take five weeks, is it? At 0 0.8? Well, once some of these finish up, it'll get, it'll be, get reallocated. And that's what it's calculating. Okay, that makes sense to me. Fantastic. Nine weeks now until this tooling workshop is concluded. And once that happens, we will really start to work through the barracks. So that is all absolutely great. We're up to 4.86 million now. We're growing really fast. And how are things going up here now? Only 308 in this railway. That's unfortunate, but we're losing a lot less in terms of our migration here now. So I guess that's fine. Not really fine, but it's better. Cool. Okay, so our motor industries finishing in three weeks is actually a pretty big deal. As are the steel, steel mills, so that'll be great. And then 30 weeks on this tooling workshop, huh? No significant market price changes. Dutch people are going to Tasmania. An interesting choice, to be sure. And our steel mill is almost done. So that steel mill will help quite a lot. The price of steel, I believe, is still high, correct? And we do have some market access issues. That is noted. Engines input goods shortage right now. I think a lot of that, though, is based on the price of steel, correct? It doesn't help, but we could definitely use more motor industries. Okay, we're dipping very negative right now in our in our price right now, but that's because barracks actually don't pull out of the investment pool. So this is fine. I'm not concerned about this. We're building up investment pool instead of pulling out of the investment pool. Seems fine. We only run this deficit for three more weeks after all. So it's completely okay. Yeah, there we go. We're flipping back around. Perfection. At least temporarily. We're flipping around temporarily here. One more week on our barracks until those are all concluded. We're not going to have enough at that point. Oh, we just head, headed up to position 18 in the world. Okay. We're, keep in mind, we're actively tanking our prestige right now. And we're number 18 in the world. That's remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Can we see the rank list from here? No. No. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We could theoretically, until we run out of investment pool, which is next week, we could theoretically go to very low taxes. I don't think that we do that right now because we are dipping back negative here. But overall, I think this is okay. We just hit 40 million for our GDP. That's fantastic. We're almost 
we're almost back up to our population peak. So that's great. And our number of radicals is lower than it has ever been. All very good. All of this is being worked on. I would like to build a little faster, but we simply can't afford it at this moment. Our trade agreement with Brazil was broken. Hmm, they're in a customs union with France. And they're allied with Ecuador. Ecuador isn't a very big threat. But it is awkward. So hypothetically, if we were to do a diplomatic play on them, which we can't do right now. If we were to do that, France would get involved here. So what about Peru, Bolivia? They're stronger. They're allied with New Granada. Is that relevant? Not really. 11 battalions. Okay. Noted. Well, we're just continuing to build away here, and there's absolutely no problem with this. Yeah, this is completely fine. We're up to 4.91 million. At this rate, next episode, we will pass the previous threshold. And we're growing faster than we ever were before. So this is absolutely great. Our GDP has dipped a little bit. I think that's probably due to market access issues. Are we auto-expanding railroads? I believe that we are not. And we should queue up a railroad here and here. I would queue up one up here, but there's absolutely no point. When this railroad only has 325 employees, right? There's no point. We just need more people here. Central American people are migrating to Uruguay. Now that's interesting. So they're coming into our territory. How many? Well, we'll see. So far, we haven't seen any major bumps in this. Uh, let's see. That's not absolutely huge. But one thing we could think about doing is doing a greener grass campaign instead of in, say, Patagonia in Uruguay, just to boost up the migration attraction here. Okay. So I'm not going to call this huge, but this is now a high migration attraction. Okay. Well, we'll see if we get anything major out of it. Netherlands wants a trade agreement. Done. Oil discovered in Bajo Paraguay. Cool. I believe we already had some oil there, but let's just check in real quick. Yes. Yes, we did. Fantastic. So nothing needs to be queued up there. Okay. We still have 100k in credit, so we can keep this up for 10 more weeks. Noted. We are going to have to raise taxes at some point. And we're going to take that up to a normal level of taxes. There we go. Equatorial... Oh, there's plastics. And steel railway cars. And psychoanalysis. Okay. <laughs> we're going to defend those minority members. And we can go for... Steam turbine? Heading down towards oil turbine. Turbine. So what we really want to do here is we want to take our glassworks down to houseware plastics. We want to consume those oils and drive the price of oil up because oil's not very high priced right now. Cool. That's what we want. Beautiful. Yes, migration attraction. Done. This is all looking fantastic. Look at our standard of living now. Beautiful. Our population, almost up to the peak, which I believe was, well, says here, 5.08 million. Cool. We're not seeing huge amounts of Central Americans coming in. It doesn't appear, but that's okay. We could do an old age pension. Minus 3% workforce ratio 
but plus 60% dependents income and dependent enfranchisement. But 30% welfare payments. Be about a thousand? I don't know that that's great right now. I also do want to come in here and get railways auto expanding. Just so we don't have to worry about that. We could also go to steel passenger carriages, but that would reduce our infrastructure and increase our steel consumption. I don't think that this is a good idea, especially when we consider that transportation costs are already quite low. So I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's necessary at all. But look at our radicalism. Down below 900k now. I love it. 4.96 million. Absolutely spectacular. Oil discovered up in Brazil? Sure. That's pretty normal. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue to stabilize our economy and probably widen our military a little bit further. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible including Casserol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Kentogan, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisol, Kadra, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.